and Eco. I'm an interior designer. At Eco, we specialize in new construction or remodeling with in-house design services. We know for most homeowners, the idea of improvement can be very daunting. That's why we have the Eco Way, which is a worry-free kitchen and bath design remodeling that will make sure our clients will love where they live. As an interior designer, it is very important to do a great presentation for your clients. That's why I use the Morfolio board. It's a very easy and simple way to create your mood presentation, add the pictures, inspirations, your design, selections, textures, all that you need to impress your clients. That's why today I'm going to teach you guys my master class. It's the Morfolio board 101. It's a very simple and effective way that will help you guys create your first board. So let's get started. For this Morfolio Board 101, I have created a sample board for us to look at, but I want to explain how the screen looks like once you open the app. At the bottom part, there's always examples for you to look at from other boards and to get inspired. On the top, left, on the blank area, that's how you're gonna click and start your empty board. It will look like that. You can add a title just by clicking it. And you can just put any titles you need. We're gonna use this one for the class purposes. Once you open up, that's what you're gonna see. Mine already has some pictures that I already put it in, but I will explain how to bring pictures in. On the right side, that's what you're going to use to bring pictures or from either from your camera roll or from the website. Click on this little icon and this other screen is going to look like. That's where you're going to select if you want your pictures to come from your library, your camera or the web. So let's just go to library and all my photos on here. So you select, you confirm and then it could be a picture or it could be like I did like a custom font for the title. Every time you select, you click on a picture or a font, the blue square is gonna be highlighted. That's how you know that this is the one you're gonna be working on right now. You can click and you can drag them outside your drawing. You can bring them to the bottom, or even if you want to, you can use your fingers to make it bigger or smaller, and then you can place them where you want them to be. If I want to add a picture but I don't have saved either on my Pinterest account or on my pictures, I go here to the same screen but I will select web, it's the bottom one. Once you click that, you can use any web search you feel comfortable with. I have already pre-selected this at Brizzo. Since I'm working on a master bath, I want to make sure I have a nice faucet. Once you go through the website and you find the faucet you want, you can use this red crop area in there and you can crop just the picture you wanted to bring into your board. Once you have it, you just click confirming and it shows up in there. Again, once you click it, the blue line is going to be around and you can move them around or you can make them a little bit smaller and you can place them in there. Another great feature still on the same picture screen is here on the bottom I can add shapes I can add numbers if I want to label my things on my drawing I can add letters or even if I want to add fun symbols on it still talking about on the right side of the commands just below the picture I have two options I can Click on the letter and I can type anything that I want. Once I click it, I can just change the font. When I have the right font, I confirm and I have my title in there. Having the blue lines around, I can make it bigger or smaller. Another option, instead of using the text, is selecting this pencil here. That will give me the opportunity using the pencil to write 
anything I want. Once I like it, I just come here in the bottom and I confirm. That becomes like a picture. I can move them around and I can make them smaller or bigger if I want to. Another great feature the Morfolio Board app offers is for you to go to your Pinterest account and bring things you have already saved on your boards there. So on the left side, you can see the Pinterest symbol. When you go in there, you'll be able to go to your account, go to all your boards and pre-select what you want. If I want to select this image for the tile purposes, it talks about the tile and I have the option to either save on my personal library or on this board. If I add the plus sign, the picture is already on my board. So I just move this so I have more space here. If I don't want these shoes to be seen on my board, I can use the crop command and I can just crop this image just enough. I confirm, I don't see the shoe anymore. I can move this and if I wanted the faucet to be seen in the front of the tile, I can just use this other command here, which I'm moving forward or backwards, how I want this picture to be. so far is eliminating pictures that I wanted to be on my board and align the ones that I want with the title on top and some of the pictures in the bottom. Now if I go on the bottom part of my app I can see three little commands cut sheet board and list. If I go to cut sheet it's a page or item that I have on my board with the right website to go find more information if I want to. Board just look like what we have on the screen and list is an Excel spreadsheet format where I have an image of everything, the description of each picture, and if I want them to be hidden or not. So if you wanna send this to a client, you can hide or not an image before you can send them over. So you go back to the board and this is how I can see how my board looked like. If I wanna bring a picture that is not saved on my camera roll, or not on my website, but it's on my Pinterest account. That's another great command the Morfolio has. I can just select my Pinterest here. You just have to connect your Pinterest account to your Morfolio app, and you can go to your boards. So I'm gonna select this flooring here. Once you click it, it gives a description of the flooring again, and the option to add it to your personal library or to the board. If I wanna add to my board, I have the instantly in here. I can just, with my finger, push them around. I have a bigger screen to look at, and now I can work with this picture. I can crop if I don't wanna show the tennis shoes in there. So here in the bottom, I have the crop symbol, and I can just move this a little bit like that, and I confirm, and now I have this picture here. Again, I can click it, I see my blue line around, and I can move them around, so I can either place it in here if I want to replace to that one. Now my faucet is showing below the tile. If I want to revert how it looks like, I can just push this and then I have my faucet now on the front of my tile. By selecting this arrow pointing down, I'm automatically saving my board. Or I can select this one here and I choose if I want to save as an image or as a PSD. I can save as an image, I can save on my iPad or on OneDrive if you want to. Or I can click it here as a PSD, for example, and that will allow me to send as a text message, as an email, or to any social media that I want to. I just finished adding all the pictures that I want for this board. I place my signature here in the bottom using the pencil command. 
I set my board and that's how in a very quick and easy way, in a very efficient, you can create a mood board for your client's presentation. As I promised you, you have just learned how to create your first portfolio board in less than 10 minutes. I hope you have enjoyed. To follow me, go to Instagram as Danny underscore K-O-H-L underscore interiors or leave underscore ACO. Thank you.